Hello everyone, it is I, Pyron here, with another figure review. This time we have another Dragon Ball figure. This one is Super Saiyan 3, Son Goku from Dragon Ball Super, during the, I'm pretty sure, the Battle of the Gods, uh, when Goku fights Beerus for the first time, and he used Super Saiyan 3 as his full max power. Uh, this right here is another three-figure set of the Dragon Ball Wall series, with the other two figures being base Son Goku XC right here and base Vegeta right there, which hopefully later down the line I'm hopefully able to get the other two figures. But for right now we have Super Saiyan 3 Son Goku. And with that out of the way, let's go with the unboxing of the figure. And we're back and let's go with the unboxing of the figure. First things first, let's go let's look through the box once more. Uh I will say when I got this box, uh I got this actually pretty badly damaged. See right there, box is a little bit uh, damaged right here, where it's a little bit damaged, decrease it over here. And overall, uh, and the little uh, little hair piece right here kind of fell off. It's in, the, it's in the box because I hear it wrinkling, so we'll put that back once we open this thing. So, like we always do in my reviews, uh, exacto knife. We go for the edges of where the thing opens up, and slowly but surely, knife it. And I know, uh, nothing to not do what I'm doing right here. Uh, what's it cold? Just unbox it how you sh usually should unbox it. I'm just doing it just because it's cold. It's easier for me. And that should at least give us way. And yeah, yeah, I was gonna have to regard this. God damn it. Wait. I have been able to, Ooh. and, yep, there's the piece that fell off right there, first things first, get this off, Ooh. and that piece, box gets saved, like I always love to do, a bit damaged, but that's nothing glue can do that, then let's get some Goku out of the box, but we gotta be careful with this, because, little piece right here, oh, and it's head fell off, oh no. Well, first things first, we finally got the uh, hair piece that broke off that you, that you were able to see in the figure and whatnot. So, just put this back right here. All the plastic itself goes right here. We can put this back in the box. So, I have the space and whatnot. And in case I feel like putting these back inside their box for later down the line, pretty nice. And now let's rebuild Goku again because what's called his head fell off. It's like already starting off with a already kind of like thing already. But let's see how this headpiece goes up. Oh, that's a little bit broken piece right there. That broke off. I should be able to put it back. No problem at all. And hey, hey, looks pretty nice. Uh, though I will say I'm probably going to have to put super glue on that. So when I do the rest of this review, if this piece falls off, just know uh, that's because it is kind of falling off. Should be able to put back Goku's head on the joint. And boom. Goku's back on. And also looking pretty well. Super Saiyan 3 Son Goku. We do, I did technically review uh, Super Saiyan 3 Goku uh, previously, but that was more of a chibi figure. This right here is a more full figure. And overall looking pretty well. I will say the head uh, is a little bit, it's super fucking top heavy. Uh, oof, that is, how am I going to put this guy back on? <sighs> His head really likes to pop off. I was not expecting this at all. <sighs> there we go. Hopefully, yeah, no, he does not want to go back on there. I would do some modifications in the line on this figure just to, so he can have his head hold up. But overall, figure looking pretty well and nicely designed. Uh, gonna have to do some touch up work on this just because it's cold. Uh, I will say it's probably just because it was badly damaged when I got it. That was a cold. A lot of this kind of fell off and whatnot, but overall looking super good so far. Okay. Uh, besides that, this is how everything the figure comes with. Overall looking pretty great. All the detail work looking pretty nice. You can see right there, Goku looks good. The hair looks fine. Actually looks pretty nice, actually, not gonna lie. You have a little bit different coloration right here. Uh, torso piece looks great. Arctic, uh, what's it called? Uh, coloring looks good. Probably not the best. Oh, what's it called? They could have gotten a little bit better. Uh, what's it called? Detail work is actually not bad at all. 
looks pretty great. His angry face right there. His clothing looks pretty good. All the color looks great. Overall, looks pretty good figure. Uh, but now, out of the way, now that we got the overview and er everything that Goku looks like and everything how he does, let's go with the articulation of Super Saiyan 3, Saiyan Goku. And we're back. Now let's go with the articulation of Son Goku and Super Saiyan 3. First things first, the head, which is able to turn around, no problem at all. Well, it's not able to turn around, no problem at all, because head, it, once again, it's uh, coming off. Uh, what's it called? I gotta figure out how to retouch the head without having to do any work, work, work without breaking this. But the head's able to go 360 if you had a perfectly fine figure. Uh, I, I get one broken one, but that's fine. I can fix this later down the line. His arm right here. Let's go with his arm. His arm's able to rotate. No problem at all. See right here. Rotate. Elbow joint's able to go all the way there. Hand piece. Little hand piece able to go up and down. No problem at all. It's able to spin the hand. Pretty nice. Pretty nice. Has an ab crunch right there, so he's able to go back and forth, and he's able to spin his body. You know what? That's fine. We'll go without the head for the meantime. Torso is able to go away, spin around. Pretty nice. I do apologize for people who are seeing uh, unheaded Goku, but what's it called the head's the whole entire head piece is like super goddamn heavy, so it's falling off. So for the meantime, we're gonna have Goku side side for the meantime. So for the rest of the review for anybody that comes and watch this and whatnot. Uh, what's it called? They would do splits. No problem at all. It's a cold legs able to go forward. All the way backward. Not bad at all. They would have bent all the way. Not too much. Not as we want to. But still pretty nice. A little bit squeaking there. Leg bit piece. Oh. Oof. Yeah, this is... Okay, so that leg can pop off. So that's... So that's, oh, okay, I guess probably you want to do customization with that. I gotta lie, I think I just got a bad piece figure out of this Dragon Ball Evolved series. <sighs> uh, once a cold, legs able to go up, bend all the way there. Leg piece able to fold left and right, a little bit up and down, spin around, eh, not bad at all. Once a cold, legs able to rotate. Some pretty decently nice. Oh, bro, articulation's not bad at all. Uh, some things are kind of floppy and all that and have fallen over, but uh, they're able to be put back up again. Let's re put Goku's head back once more. <sighs> uh, it's gonna be a lot of work I'm gonna have to do for it to, keep, to, put, to push this back because if anything else, I think I need to forcibly push this back in <clears throat> just to keep him in there. There we go. Now he's back up. Oh, bro, articulation's not bad. Uh, for most of the Dragon Ball Ball figures I've reviewed so far, our technician is pretty great. Now let's go with the final thoughts. And we're back with final thoughts here. Overall, the figure is pretty great. Uh, I will say, uh, top of everything else, uh, I'm pretty sure I got a bad or defective figure here on my end. So, uh, it's a little bit, well, defective in the sense that mine's came broken. I think the damage from the box one, I really kind of gave issue of my figure breaking apart like compared to the other uh figure um uh dragon ball Wolf figures that i got all of them were pretty great um overall body articulation is still all great or whatnot the only thing that i have to say was this is because mine mine came damaged whatnot is that the head popped off and i'm gonna have to do some repair work to put the head back on so it won't pop off anymore uh the leg piece that you saw on the left hand on the left leg piece that popped off uh, it's able to put back on. There's no loose things about that. That can that can pop off and on. So it's pretty. So that's no problem at all. That can be pop, pop back on. If anything else, I kind of feel like it's a whole gimmick thing where you can probably swap out the parts for characters, so you can like make custom characters of your own. So probably do that. Uh, overall, the figure's great. Uh, for the price that I got this, which was like around ten bucks, not bad at all. I got this at Target, like where I grab where I grab all my Dragon Ball Wolf figures. Uh. Uh, though this one right here, I did order online, so that's the difference is uh, what's called versus uh, me probably getting uh, at the sh at the store. But I didn't get the chance to get it at the store because they didn't have it in stock, so I got this online. 
So they going through the shipping process and getting damage is probably what caused most of the damage to my figure. But overall, the figure is great, not bad. Uh, I would recommend it to get it. Uh, just a little bit of advice that if you're some damage or whatnot, uh, you might have to do some a little bit of work to try to like keep the head back on because the head is very heavy. Like it, it is very top heavy. Like the like next to the body, it probably weighs almost half a pound with the head. But overall, the figure is pretty great. Um, what I recommend is yes, uh, but with a little bit of a little bit uh, asterisk of just be careful with the figure. Uh, hopefully your figure doesn't come damaged like with the box that you saw mine because mine was very heavily damaged. Not heavily damaged to the degree, but damaged enough where the head popped off and I'm going to have to do like some uh, attack and whatnot to like keep it there so it doesn't fall apart, fall off again because the weight of the head is a lot. Uh, but overall, I think pretty good figure. Uh, I recommend, I still recommend it. It's still a cheap figure, it's still a $10 figure, so it's not that bad. But if you want to go look for other figures, I I would still recommend um, other figures. But if you love Super Saiyan 3, it's still a great figure. I would recommend it. Uh, but with that out of the way, if you like the video, please leave a like, comment, subscribe. I would appreciate it. Uh, and as always, have a good day, folks. This is I, Parton, signing out, and I'll see you guys on the next one.